here we are. I'm tucking in the first bit of the bracing structure uh, at the bottom, bottom and at the top. So this, what I decided to do in the end for the bracing was one bar across the door down to the chassis member and then later on I braced widthways and also onto the rear wheel arches and um, plenty of triangle structures to keep it strength as I cut out the sills, cut out the chassis members etc etc. Because I was keeping the engine in I had to make sure I did a good job getting the correct penetration of the uh, welds so none of these cracked and failed and caused the car to blow at all. I'm now seam welding in the bottom of that angle iron to the chassis member so it keeps the height of like the A posts and stuff like that when I chop out the A pillar and uh, all the structural components. So here I am doing a piece of angle iron lengthways across the doors. Uh, that's drawing up to that one piece of angle iron that's connected to the chassis member. This will prevent the door gaps from getting wider and shorter whilst I cut away the uh, structural components of the car. And as I'm doing it up in the air, well, so I can do welding underneath the car and also cut out floor pans, etc. Uh, this is very, very beneficial to me, helping keep the door gaps as they were when I took the doors off and all the other structural components. As correcting door gap becomes a very big and painful job. So if we can keep them as straight as possible, that benefits me in the long run. my acrobatic skills trying to weld in the foot weld whilst on my side getting digged into my ribs. It was not a fun experience but it has to be done. As I was doing the same on the opposite side, I made a bit of a mistake and I didn't check the fitment properly to the chassis member at the bottom. So as I had already welded in the top, um, I had to make do with a small piece of angle iron that went across the top of the chassis member that was welded uh, to the other bit of angle iron. So these were my proudest welds as this was taking around about 11 o'clock at night. Um, so I just wanted to get, get into bed really and go to sleep, so I uh, kind of rushed it a little bit, um, but it should still do the same job uh, and function the same and keep the door gaps uh, relatively straight. So as you can see, this is the result of that night's work, I called it a night about 11.30, 11.45, um, and then the next day I decided to finish off the bracing to the rear wheel arches. Now here's a little sneak peek to the next video you'll be on the channel. Um, thanks for watching and I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe.